Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I want to show you guys a pretty good early game power leveling spot in World of Final Fantasy. I stumbled upon this spot by accident, and it's an area that you'll encounter fairly early in the game. It took a little bit of preparing for, but once I was able to get everything I'm going to mention in the guide up to speed, I was able to do about level 11 or 13, between that range, up until about level 28, in just about over an hour. So I feel like it's a pretty good spot, a lot of guild to earn, a lot of experience points, great way of power leveling mirages that you may have in your uh, in your prism case. So let's get to it. So this power leveling spot is going to be in the Nether Nebula. Now your first trip here, you're not going to be able to access this power leveling spot. And honestly, you'd probably be a little too under leveled to do it. You're going to want to complete your first trip here. And in the last room before you get to the save point, and before you fight the boss of the area, you'll notice there was a boulder that you were probably unable to break. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to learn the smash support technique on one of your mirages. The way I did this was by obtaining a copper gnome really early on and getting it to level 10 before evolving it to a mithril giant. The mithril giant was able to learn the smash skill fairly early on. On top of the smash support skill, you'll also need the flutter support skill, which the floating eyes here in the nether nebula can learn if you imprison them and level them up a little bit. Once you have both Flutter and Smash, you'll come to a zone with three chests and enemies that are a much higher level than you. Simply put, these are the same enemies that are in the rest of Nether Nebula, but a much higher level. And that being said, they are all pretty much weak to the Wind Element. So basically, you want to stack up on Wind Elemental attacks and farm the heck out of them. The easiest way I found in order to grind these enemies was to use the Valifer Mirage, which you can catch fairly early on in the Colosseum. It's not a pre-order DLC boss in the Coliseum or anything, so anybody should be able to do it as long as you can complete the low-level battles there. Even with Valfer and some of the other Mirages, it's still fairly difficult when you first get there, but it grows easier and easier to level here as Valfer and your other characters level up more. Every fight is worth anywhere from 6 to 10,000 experience points and 3 to 400 gil plus items. Even more beneficial is that the smallest forms of the three Mirages you encountered in the Nether Nebula are present here, Babla, Zapt, and Frit. This means that regardless of which one you chose to fight and obtain earlier, you can catch the other two here, though their spawn rates are very, very low. And I just did this for a little bit over an hour. I was able to go up until about level 26 to 28. It really starts to slow down once you get to about level 26, but honestly, it's great for power leveling low level mirages, even by just having them in your inventory and not actively using them in combat. It's probably gonna be my go-to spot for the rest of the game to get mirages caught up to a more recent level. Of course, later on in the game, I could just throw them in my inventory and let them get some passive experience, but this was a nice place to do at the earlier points of the game especially considering how many mirages I have in my prism case that are unleveled at this point. And that's my guide to early game leveling in World of Final Fantasy. Are there any spots that you found that are before this or even are just after this that are pretty much equivalent? Let me know in the comment section of the video below and I'll be sure to make more leveling guides when it comes to World of Final Fantasy. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share and stay tuned for more World of Final Fantasy videos on my channel. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.